Neal gives it up, takes the handoff. He's got a wide open look there on the baseline. He was one for 13 against Minnesota. We raised thirty-five thousand dollars, and now we've given over seventy million dollars. Yeah, and as you said, and of course, his his son was uh, maybe the first beneficiary, right? I'm so familiar with with the good things you guys are doing. When you have a night like this, and you put it all in perspective, it comes full circle. What's it? What's it mean? To the cancer center, met with the top guys there in research, decided what to do, came to the Bucks, Jim Fitzgerald and his group, and said, "This is what we'd like." A game which we've had every year from every owner all those years except COVID. And that's how it started, Marcus. And they let Eddie and I talk about it on radio and TV every game. Buddy Heel. Here's Heel. Left handed pass. And they're working around to the block. Pace is showing great taste on this possession. This is what they get out of it. Thompson, yeah, he's having his way. That's great pace. I mean, just great execution. Healed from up top. You know, he can put up some points. If you look at the Bucks' surprise losses this year, Katante does a nice job finishing. A lot, a lot of 6'7", six, 6'8", six, Sadiq, Sadiq Bay and Kate Cunningham, long, lengthy types. Long, lengthy types. I mean, His first field goal. Terry Taylor, Taylor, nice Taylor, job Taylor, with, yeah. with the finish inside. But, but it's just a, a being a victim of the scouting report because they know with the Bucks, they know the Bucks are going to fill those quadrants. You and I got to look at this Pacers roster closely because it's a, almost a brand new looking roster because of guys like that. Buddy Heald knocks down another. There's all kinds of uh, stories about who could booster up this roster a little bit in the absence of Pat Thompson here right now. Heel misses it poorly. Ricky Rubio. Rubio. Yeah. I mean, wow. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's, uh, it's a short bench. They got about maybe 10 guys available here. He's healed who gets his other. Austin P. Terry Taylor. Hey, hey, let's see. Right. Wait till half time. Four to shoot. Uh, Tim's not there. Pacers get it back. Final few seconds here on the corner, and Heald knocks it down. One thing that he can do. And that'll be the last play. An issue. They seem to have solved that the first three games of the road trip. Let's see what happens here tonight. Out of the locker room, Heald. He hit the last shot of the second yeah. quarter. It's the first shot of the third. The last possession for the Pacers. You can take the coach out of the Celtics, but can you take the Celtics out of the coach? A little weave action. <laughs> <laughs> he was again, man. It's great defensive possession by the Pacers. Giannis, you can feel that one coming. Hit a three in the first half. This is first miss from back there. He's sitting on 25 points. Back the other way. Drew's got some choices. Over to Bobby. No looks it off. Again for heel. Wow. Okay. That's a good defensive stop. Now oh, count it. Are they going to count it? Healed again. This kind of night you'd think that would go in. Six of ten shooting. Hard way eight, but it doubles. Sometimes there's a Chris that looks like a Chris or a Steve that looks like a Steve. Yeah. And he looks like a Pookie. Like a Pookie. Sykes finds heel. That's another three. Yeah. Boy, he's got seven of them. Still got some work to do. Way too much uh, time left in this game to get comfortable. Mid range. He's shooting better from three point range than mid range. Slow down, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Calling out plays from the sideline. <laughs> Did you get one of those last night, too? <laughs> Not yet. I haven't really checked, though. Oh, wow, okay, I see you. Jalen. Ew. Lefty flip up, he's got 33.
Here's the answer. Beware of Greeks bearing gifts. Yeah. Lifting it up. 